Passenger Josh coming at you here from the wife mobile. She's a good driver. She's actually better than me, I think. I am a very patient driver. I'm, I'm completely different than I was when I was younger. I was a cocky, nothing can happen to me, total four of my own vehicles driver. I learned the hard way how not to drive. And now I'm a great driver. I take my time. I am very assertive, on guard of other bad drivers. I've just learned a lot over the years. Smooth and steady, like she's a great driver. Yeah, I never take off quickly. I never brake hard unless necessary, obviously. I had to learn the hard way though too. I played too many Need for Speed games when I was a kid. And uh, I was a little bit uh, of a heavy foot when I first got my license. But I had to learn the hard way too. And I learned my lesson and I have a clean driver's abstract now. We were both young and dumb. There she is, Wally World. Indeed. Look at her, standing there tall and proud, flags flying high. Nothing like good old corporatism, right? They're making all the money while all the small businesses are suffering. It's really a sad story. It really is. I'm laughing because it's so sad that I'm laughing. Instead of crying. Instead of crying, yeah. What can I do about it, right? You just gotta laugh about it. I got no power to do anything about it. Yeah. But uh, we're doing curbside pickup. Cousin Chris was in the hospital with uh, a pancreatitis. Not COVID, but he was in the hospital recently. And because he was in the hospital, I believe they have to isolate now. For two weeks, so they have For a week weeks. left. Yeah, and they can't leave the house. So they ordered groceries online and we're gonna pick them up for them here. And they've set up a table outside their house where we can go and put all the groceries on and leave so that we don't have any contact. And then they have food to eat, which is kind of essential. I mean, they would never starve being on their farm, but you know, there's some stuff that maybe the chickens and goats can't provide. Very true. Look at that. Pick up walmart.ca. There it is. Oh, I just did a plug for a big corporation. But you should go to Warehouse One. <laughs> have I told you this yet? Well, Manitoba one business. Doesn't sell groceries, though, in all fairness. One of the comments was like, "No, they're a chain, so they're not really local." Well, uh, they were still established. No, they're in they're owned by Manitobans, and their headquarters is in Manitoba. They just have multiple stores across the country. She works there. She loves it there. I love their clothes. I'm still wearing it. Oh yeah, my whole outfit, even my jacket, everything I'm wearing today, aside from my socks and boots, Warehouse One. <laughs> This is exciting. Probably a little busy. Good morning, Starbucks Walmart well, Pickup. How may I help you? Oh, no problem. I just got, got you right here. Okay, which spot are you in? Uh, number six. Okay, it's just going to be quite a bit of time. Like your order's ready. It's just that we've got quite a few people ahead of you for pickup. Oh, yeah, I see so we'll that. We'll get out to you as yeah, We'll get out as quick as we can, I promise. Okay, thank you so much. Well, that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. I guess I can take off my cousin Eddie hat. Cousin Eddie. Ed. Cousin, Cousin Eddie? Ed. Cousin Ed. So we have some news about Tim's. Apparently they're just short on staff. That's what people are saying. Short on staff because of the lockdowns and people isolating. Uh, I guess... That's not an official statement. Not an official statement. That was just comments on Will Steinbeck. We don't really know, but we're worried. We're worried about you, Tim's. Why are you closed down? You were our go-to, and now we gotta go to this one. Now we gotta go to the backup, and they always mess up our orders at this one. Actually, they've been good recently. Have they? They've gotten better? In the last couple weeks, I'm not gonna say long term. Jeez, yo. Look what came in the mail today. Look what Santa brought. Came early. My webcam with the ring light. I'm excited to uh, look into that a little bit later. Took forever, but hey, whenever we do the next live stream, we're gonna have a much better video. It's gonna be exciting. So right now, uh, because my grandpa has tested positive for COVID, uh, my mom was his caregiver. She is now on mandatory uh, isolation, which means she can't leave the house at all. Just like cousin Chris and Tanya can't leave their house at all because they're on isolation because he was in the hospital for a different issue. But since he was in the hospital, you get it. So uh, I'm the errand boy today. I've got to go pick up 
milk and bananas and eggs for mom and bring them to her and then shovel her driveway. So it keeps coming closer and closer to home, man. Now mom is on mandatory isolation. So they do contact tracing, right? So uh, she was the one to have the most contact with grandpa. And since grandpa got a positive result, obviously they want her to quarantine, monitor for symptoms. She doesn't have any symptoms yet. Looks like she's okay. Uh, she was always very careful when she was there helping him out and uh, constantly sanitizing, you know. I think she said she was wearing a double mask. Though that doesn't always help you from getting it, it helps you from spreading it. But it, it is a little bit of a line of defense. There is better than nothing, right? So we're kind of worried about it right now. It's, the, it's weighing on the family quite a bit, but I'm the errand boy running around, running, <laughs> running around getting stuff around. And I love doing it. I love being helpful. I love feeling useful. So we gotta start being kinder to each other. We need to be more like the Maritimers out in the far east of Canada. They set a great example for everybody of how to treat your neighbor like yourself, you know? They are good people. And you know, there's a lot of good people everywhere just like that. They just seem to be in a higher volume per capita in the Maritimes. But you know, maybe we need to turn ourselves around. There's so much fighting on the internet all the time regarding this whole thing, you know? We always say that family is a gift from God and it's a temporary gift. One day he's going to ask for them back. So we're gonna keep making these videos every day and we're gonna try to make your day a little bit brighter. We might miss a day here, here or there, let's be honest, but I'm gonna to try to do it every day and hopefully I can help brighten your day a little bit from way over here and spread some cheer around the world, you know? I don't want to lie to you and say my life is all sunshine and rainbows and unicorns, man. I, I struggle with things too. I can get a little bit negative sometimes and that doesn't always make it into the video. So I'm, I'm just like you, I'm just like anyone else. I'm trying to get through this thing we called life. But for what it's worth, I want to try and spread some positivity, right? Which way am I going? Let's go this way. Of course, there's a pickup truck right behind me right away. So if you think my videos are uplifting, if they're fun, if they make you smile, if they're entertaining to you, the way you can help us out during this time is you can share it with your friends, you can share it with your family, get more people watching. Because I'm not doing a lot of trucking recently, I know that some people like that content the best, but I'm hoping that I can hook you into watching for me and my personality and our family and the fun times we show on camera together so that it doesn't matter what we're doing, but that we can all sort of have this internet relationship together and grow the channel together regardless of what I'm doing. All right, so mom needs milk and bananas. And I'm the man for the job. Got my muzzle on so that I don't bite anybody. I'm pretty sure that's what this is for, right? I wanna make sure I don't bite anybody. All right, see you when I get back. Only one of us can go in at a time, right? You guys gotta wait here. Oh no! Ah! We have a crisis. They were out of bananas. Mom needs bananas. Where do I get bananas? Do they have them at co-op? You think they have them at co-op? Oh, I gotta message mom. You're out of bananas. Okay. Mom says it's okay that there's no bananas. But I say, no. Everybody needs good bananas. We're gonna go check 7-Eleven, see if they have bananas. I guess we could go to Walmart. But then we have to stand in line. And she didn't want me to go to Walmart, she wanted me to shop local. So, uh, we're gonna go check 7-Eleven out. If they don't have bananas, well, I'll just have to go find her some bananas tomorrow then. We will go on a banana mission. It'd be a good title for the vlog, banana mission. Nah, you guys probably wouldn't know what I was talking about. I don't know, would you click on that? Banana mission. Nah, we're gonna come up with something better than that. I'm so bad at titles. Thank God I have my wife. She's smarter with clever words. I can't create a good title to save my life. I wonder if Timber Falls has bananas. I don't know. We're gonna learn something new today. Where do you get bananas in town if you don't wanna buy them from Walmart? 
That's a negative. No bananas at Timber Falls. No produce whatsoever. They're not just sold out. They don't sell them at all. They are anti-banana. Noted. And their hand sanitizer stinks. Little side note. Whew. 7-Eleven, don't let me down. Come on. Come on, bananas. 7-Eleven. <laughs> Victory. 7-Eleven never lets you down. Open 24-7 for your banana needs. All right. Got the bananas. I'm a good son, right? Got the bananas. Mom needs bananas, I got her bananas. She actually told me that it's okay if I couldn't find any. It's not okay with me. I was given a mission and I'm a winner. I don't lose. She tried to talk me out of this yet. Nope. She's getting her driveway cleared. It's tough to get it once it's compacted onto the bricks. When you drive on it, and it just wants to stick. The rest of it looks nice. That's why you want to try to shovel your driveway before anyone drives on it. I guess it's my bad. I drove on it. And so I filmed myself doing kind acts because for one, that's what I should do as a son. I should be making sure my mom is taken care of. My dad's out on the road right now and I have nothing better to do other than to make sure she's doing all right. She's on isolation, she can't leave the house. So uh, I'll shovel her driveway. That's not to make me look good or anything. The only reason I show it in my vlog is to maybe encourage you guys to also find a way to help others who, who, who need your help right now. All right, we're pulling up to the hospital in town here. This is where uh, Grandpa is. The family wants to be able to communicate with him, so they've asked if uh, he can have a phone, like a cell phone there. And it looks like the nurses have agreed to let him, uh, let us bring him a cell phone. So I have a cell phone in a plastic bag on the floor behind my seat here that has been sanitized and sterilized. I'm gonna bring it into uh, the nurses here. We're probably going to sanitize and sterilize it again, I'm guessing. Uh, they're going to take it to my grandpa, to his room. He's got a charger uh, in the bag here too, so that he can actually uh, video call and talk to all of us outside the hospital. And at least talk to his kids, because no one's been able to talk to him since he's been admitted to here. Uh, they, the nurses have been calling every day, a couple of times a day, keeping, keeping everybody up to tabs with, with how he's doing. And he's doing stable right now, from what I've heard. But uh, obviously being able to communicate directly to him with a phone would be a lot better. So that's what I'm doing here at the hospital right now. Apparently I just gotta go inside here to the front door and there's gonna be someone sitting there and I just give it to them and then I leave. I don't actually have to go into, into the hospital. I don't think I'm gonna be able to film in there uh, for obvious reasons, but I'm not going very far in anyway. So here's the bag. It's got a phone in there for him with his room number and the nurses are expecting it. It's supposed to go in the emergency entrance. This is the regular entrance. Emergency is around the corner there, I guess. Crazy stuff going on in this building right now, man. Every bed full. Seems pretty quiet out here though, which is almost a little bit creepy because it's like dead quiet out here, but you know, inside there, it's just, I don't want to use the word chaos, but it's 
it's busy we'll say that it's very busy but i guess since no one's allowed to have any visitors why would it be busy out here right okay that's done so grandpa will be able to communicate hopefully i'm gonna start up oh i'm trying to start my car with my left hand here <laughs> Why did it shut off again? Oh, because it flicked all the way back. My left hand is literally good for nothing but balance. So it was eerily quiet inside there as well. You know, I was expecting, I guess, like a rush hour madness, I guess. But it makes sense. Like I was saying on the way in, they can't have guests or visitors now. So the only people in the hospital are the patients and the people taking care of the patients. So every single room is full. So just because the hallways look empty doesn't mean the rooms are empty, right? The less people in there, the better, I'm guessing. That's probably how it goes. I heard that they're uh, taking uh, COVID positive patients from here out to Brandon, uh, that they've been uh, going to other hospitals as well because they've been running out of space here. I can't imagine being one of these healthcare workers that gotta go into this hospital and work there day after day after day in direct contact. You know? That, that's, that's pretty amazing. And if you're watching this and you're one of those people, thank you. And if you happen to be taking care of my grandpa, extra thanks. Well, it snowed again yesterday. We got Frosty up and running though. Look at him. And so the season of shoveling truly begins. And there we go. We got our icicles up on the front. Spreading some cheer around the neighborhood. I think it looks great. Chevy, thanks for all of your help hanging those up. I appreciate it. You stood there like a boss. You too, Diesel. Very good supervision. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. And we still got all of these. Didn't even use half. We had a Timmy accident. I just found my Timmy's and realized that I forgot to drink it before. <laughs> and, and then my elbow hit it because we have the world's smallest kitchen. <laughs> in a small house, so yeah. That's Sorry, babe. That's okay. It was yeah. cold and old anyways. It's time for it. We just got to go get another one. Well, I guess We so. got to do a Timmy run. We're going to have to do a Timmy we run. We have to now. Well, it's a necessity. <laughs> I think we live in town. Our Timmy run is going to have to wait until after supper because this just got plopped down in front of me. Chicken pockets, right? Mm -hmm. Chicken with a pocket filled with stuff. <laughs> What's all in here? Cream cheese, chicken breast, green onion, and red pepper. And a Pillsbury crescent roll with mm -hmm. butter and croutons on top. See what happens when I stay home? She's bribing me. She doesn't want me to leave again. Nope, I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't really want to leave again either. What are you doing there? Why do you look so suspicious? You're just casually hanging out right beside the table? For no specific reason? Back natural.